Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Asperia. We're in the final area of Tarkaron, and we're going to start exploring and getting stuff. Uh, I think I've already healed. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and grab them. Whatever. Thank you. Oh, it's lemon gel and pineapple gel. Okay, cool. I managed to actually refill up on pineapple gels. So, we're just checking this area. We're going to get all the chests. I'm fairly certain I've scanned everything in here, but if I need to, I will fight them. Uh, panacea bottle, or panacea bottle. I still haven't made my own yet. I need. I still need the brown frigging spray paint to change that palm bottle into a uh, uh, panacea bottle, which is kind of cool because if you know, um, there's a brand of pomegranate juice just called Palm, and you know just P O M, and basically they have a bottle that looks almost exactly like a panacea bottle. It's really cool. Like it has the two bulbs for the bottle itself. So I was going to spray paint it brown, just have a panacea bottle that I could drink from if I need to. So <laughs> I just thought that was, that's pretty cool. So I just need to turn it. I just need to get some brown spray paint. And that's not actually my idea. I saw someone else do that. So don't give me the credit. That's not my idea. So yeah. Why the hell do they have this area if it doesn't lead to anything? I'll never understand that. But then again, I guess that's why I'm not a developer. Um... I think there's, like, hammer golems. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and fight them. I don't know if I've scanned these guys. Pretty sure I have, though. Maybe not on this file, but... Okay, yeah, I have not. Hammer golem. Okay. So, both of them. Don't laser me! Okay, good. <laughs> wow, someone, someone did zero damage at this level. You would think it would be the enemies themselves, but no. It was one of us. <laughs> and that's depressing. I love that thing. I love falling stars. It's awesome. That was wonderful. Okay. So there's that. Uh, I already scanned them. Death Seekers. I'm pretty sure I've scanned them, but again, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. And actually, you know what that reminds me of? These guys' models. You see their tails? That reminds me of the... Uh, I don't even... <clears throat> I don't remember what the hell it was called. Uh, you remember that weird, weird-looking mutant thing in Resident Evil 4? Uh, Sad Lord just calls it IT. Remember that? with the ch uh, He, like, chases you through the, the hanging uh, containers in that cave, and then you fight him. You remember that thing? It kind of reminds me of that, because he had a tail similar to that. You know, with the two, like, snippy, snippy tail, that kind of thing. <laughs> snippy. Uh, he had a pincer tail there. That's better. Uh, and it's funny, because these guys have... You know what I just realized? I never actually noticed this before. They have a pincer tail and stinger claws, or just sword claws. So that's kind of ironic. A sword, a scorpion that has a pincer for a tail and a stinger for claws. <laughs> so they literally just reversed a scorpion. But you know what? It kind of works. Rune jacket already had that. Thanks though. So okay, the secret area. That is very hard to find is, you know how when you're going through this area here, I will show you personally, just so you can understand, because this takes a lot of effort to actually figure out, and I actually never figured it out for myself, but okay, you remember when you go through this area normally, and you're shooting all the runes, or the blastias, and you shoot these last two ones, this one does something off screen, and then this one lowers all these platforms. Then when you come up here, you can fight the final boss, and all that good stuff. But, one of them does something off screen, like I just said. Now, what is that thing that it does off screen? Well, it opens up an area that is only accessible through here. And basically, at this point, you can start the 100% of this dungeon, you can get all the extra optional stuff i.e. the two final devil's arms. So, if you come over here, way, way over here, Empress Dress, um, I might have to fight this turtle. Nope. It raises this platform, and then this will allow you to exit out of, an out of a completely different and separate area. As you can see, we're back on the stairs, but the angle is completely different. So this is an entirely new area that we're going to have to go back through. So at this point, we have to climb all the way back down Tarkaron to get to where we're going. And is this a chest? No. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Now, 
Uh, it has been something like a year and a half since I've done this, so if I get a little lost, I apologize. Uh, let's see. Glorious Guard! There we go, that sounds better. Glorious Guard, it's only for Raven. As the name implies, it's the power to lead one to victory and glory. Cool. Do 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 so, okay, go on in here. And now, guess where we are? We're in this area of where Zagi was. And this chest, remember this chest down here? The one that's like, God, how do I get to that? Well, now you can get to it. And what is it? Red Chamomile! That's it. Yay. It's like some physical defense. Whatever, who cares? Oh, right. Nobody. Anyway. <clears throat> nobody. Not, not, no bud. Uh, okay, more spirits. <clears throat> I think once I, uh, once I get these devil's arms and I finish off this dungeon, I'm actually just gonna leave and then go look for all those weird items I want to find. Like the armadillo spikes and everything. Milky Way! Cool. Alright, Rita. Milky Way. Milky Way, Milky Way. Where are you? Milky Way. Hey, Resilience! A beautiful fabric resembling a star-filled sky. The gold thread embroidery serves to store air. Cool. Let's go ahead and get her in the party. No more Raven. Rita. So that's where you can get Resilience. I thought it was going to be from her Devil's Arm, but no, it's not. <coughs> um, this one looks pink. Did I not fight this? Oh, uh, no, okay, I did. Because it looked way pinker than normal. I thought it was a different one. God, what the hell? <clears throat> uh, I always break my one cardinal rule, but whatever. I get uh, honestly, that's about a <laughs> that's about all the meme I can say that I have. It's just I always break my one rule: don't eat before you record, or just give it some time. But ugh, whatever. I was hungry. Shut up. <laughs> all right. So, oh, there's a chest there. Is this where I go or no? Don't think it. No, it's not. I didn't think it would be. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to this door over here, I bet. Let's see. No? Wow, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get another holy bottle. I'm not in the mood to fight every last enemy in here, because I've already shown half a dozen of them. I've shown every single enemy. Ooh, Critia Coat. Ah, uh, gee, I wonder who that's for. Critia Coat. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. It is better. Good. Yay. <coughs> So, let's go ahead and climb on down here. God, this takes so long. Oh, okay, yeah, now we're down here in the actual, like, city portion. Okay, so yet another new area to explore. Uh, nothing there. Why don't I just have a wall there instead of just an invisible wall? That would have been nice. Or just don't have that little off-branching path. It's dumb. <laughs> Seems like it would save you some, uh... Some development time if you just put a wall there. But no, apparently not. <clears throat> okay, we're stuck fighting these guys because he's blocking the chest, and I gotta find out what the hell is in there. Man, I missed stop flow. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no, somebody kill stole. <laughs> Instead of saying, I gotta keep up, I should just say, really, KS? <clears throat> and then the Lee Sin will be like, Oh, sorry, I was just trying to help. Except, no, he was trying to kill Steel. Asshole. Oh, Terra Crest, I already have one of those. Um, can I put that on anybody? Oh, no, it's only for... What the hell? You gave me two? And this one's even harder to get to. How was I... How would I find this one before I find the other one? What the hell? That's dumb. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. That's where I... Okay, I gotcha. Now I see where I am. Oh, okay, so now we're going down even further. And now we're back in here. Okay, that's just a wall. I thought it was a door for a second there, but no. Oh, right, yeah, doors in this area are just kind of like big, yawning passageways. And this is a laurel. Nice, those are really good. Laurels, they prevent all magical ailments. So, yeah, that's a very good item. I only have one other one, and I got it randomly from the EX dungeon. So, okay, this is the point of coming all this way. You get to a separate area of this area. And where does it lead, you ask? Well, I'll show you. Because that's what I'm here to do. 
Here to show you what in the hell all this is for. So, okay. Can I go down here? Ooh. Use the lift. Whoop! Okay, so use the lift and come down here. Now we are in yet another separate area of the area. Oh, Freaking crazy. I hate this place. I love the music, but God. Alright, Miracle Gel. It's a miracle we made it this far. And Golden Hammer for Carol. Uh, there it is. Or there you are. Golden Hammer. Vitality 4 and Steel Defense. Br helps you when you are short of funds. Brings back, brings you luck and dramatic comeback victories. Okay. Well, it'll probably help you when you're short of funds because you can just sell it. It's a, it's a hammer made of gold. So, okay. Wh where to now? We can go this way. Whoop. And look where we are. We are actually up against the frigging Blastia. I mean, not Blastia, you know, the core. So, yeah, this is where you are really, really gonna not like this place, like, at all. Because, oh my god, this takes so long. And it's not because it's hard. It's because of these damn ladders. Because, you know, we can't just, oh, I don't know, have elevators in here. I'm sure the ancient Garayo civilization, with all their advanced technologies and frigging light bridges, was really big on ladders. Oh, I hate this part. It sucks. It sucks ass. It sucks a lot of ass. Like, it sucks all of them. All. All asses everywhere. So... Just putting that out there, it sucks all of them. Okay. So, gonna have to take out all those nets. You basically gotta burn all these nets so that these platforms can drop. And, uh, you can get some stuff. So, just go around, climb all the ladders, look for nets, shoot them, and then, uh, platforms will fall. Blah, 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 blah. You get the picture. But you're going to need to do this if you want to get the Devil's Arms, because I'm fairly certain there's a switch around here somewhere that turns on a light bridge that leads to a secret, like an even more secret area of the secret area, and you can, um, well, you know, and get the Devil's Arms. Blech. Uh, what time am I at? Uh, 12. Okay, I thought it was at 17 for a second there. Okay. So, we gotta go up here. What is this gonna do? Is this a ladder to nothing? Is it really? It really is. Wow. <laughs> That's some Mother 3 shit right there. Okay. <laughs> or just some Mother in general. They always have ladders that don't lead to anything. Freaking Mr. Saturns. Assholes. Okay. <gasps> so, this is now a dead end. That is literally, all that work was literally for one chest. There better be something good in it, because I honestly don't remember. <laughs> All right, so let's go on down to do 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 to climb and ladders to do 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 to do. Oh God! Special gel. Okay, that's worth it. I like special gels, especially because whenever I get a special gel in any of these games, it always reminds me of uh, Tales of Cross Zone. Or, uh, I mean, Tales of Cross Zone. <laughs> Tales of Cross Zone. What in the hell? Uh, Project Cross Zone. Wow. Tales of Cross Zone. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually said that. But yeah, it always makes me think of Project Cross Zone because uh, the special gel is one of the best healing items in that game. It basically serves the exact same purpose as it does in this game. It heals everybody fully. Or, well, actually, no, no. In this game, it doesn't do that much. It, it only heals one person fully. But, yeah. Okay. Prism Protector. There we go. I think that's for Estelle. Yeah, Prism Protector. A mysterious armor that reflects, reflecting the rays of a rainbow, dazzles enemies, making their attacks easier to dodge. Now, I believe it... Oh, wow, it's not weak to anything. Okay, I thought it was actually resistant to everything except darkness. That's always how it used to be. Or at least that's how... I'm pretty sure that's how it used to be in Tales of the Abyss, at the very least. And that's the one I remember it from, so, yeah. So, now, was the, is this the entrance? I'm pretty sure this is where I came from. I'm just going to check. Yes, yes, this is where I came from. Okay, just, just checking. Okay, so, 
now we're back. Everything is still destroyed. As you can see, that net over there is gone. Um, now, is there anything I can do down here? No, there's not. Hmm. Well, I need to figure out where I need to go now. Because I don't seem to remember how to do this. There might... Oh, you know what it might be? Hmm. I'm going to look around a little bit oh, back here. Because I get the feeling that I need to go up or something. Let me see. Let me go up. Is there another way? Is there another thing I can take? Oh, no, there's not. Okay, so this is my only option. So I just need to find a way through this area. Okay. Because I thought maybe there would be another one of these light bridges leading to the core. And I'd be able to, um, you know, go to a different area of this. The only saving grace you have here is just that there's no enemies. But, oh my god, these ladders are getting really, really old. Okay, I think I might see where I need to go. There's a ladder over there. I don't know if I ever took it. Uh, this one. Yes, yes, this is it. Aha, see? There's another thing there. Okay, cool. Found my way. That was pretty easy. Thank god. I thought I was going to be stuck for a little bit there. Oh, and hey. I see a chest up there. I can just get it really easily. And yes, don't worry. I know where I see where I need to go. I saw another little light bridge, but I want to go ahead and get all this other stuff first. Because I don't want to leave any of this shit behind. Because it's really good. Of course, this is like end game stuff. Oh, and by the way, here's one that actually has like a ladder on it. That's cool. Boom. Okay. So I need to climb all the way up here, shoot the platform just to climb down. Ugh, God. So annoying. Oh my God. You know, I wonder why I've never tried to do that with like a Minecraft thing. You know? Like, have a platform that you can destroy and then have sand fall down and fill a thing. I guess because in Minecraft you can jump. I guess if you want to make an adventure map, an adventure map, you just got to make sure that you state very clearly that you're not supposed to jump. Although, no one's going to follow that rule. Nobody. No one's going to follow that rule. But whatever. Unless you just make it for one room. It's like, oh, this room has really, really strong gravity and you can't jump. So, don't jump. You assholes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one just fell into a net down there, so that kind of sucks. Oh, my God. You see what I do for you guys? Like, oh, my God. I'm doing all this just so I can show the friggin' Nevelim fight. Ugh. Plus, I also want to see what skills you get on the Devil's Arms, because I'm fairly certain they actually do give you some skills. The only one I know of is Yuri's, and I know that it gives him the glory and whatever. You know, it gives him glory and uh, Super Chain 3. So, all I know of is that one. Okay. So. So, we've shot down all the platforms, and this is a new... Wait. This is a new thing we can get to. Okay, yeah, I can't get to that platform down there. Okay, so. New area of the secret, secret, er, area... Okay, so, where are we? Oh, God! Yeah, I know where we are now. Yeah, now it's, like, all evil and hellish and red and shit. It's all scary. Okay, so, if you come down this way, you can get... Susano! That is Rapide's Devil's Arm! Uh, Susano, there it is. A dagger named after a god from an ancient myth. One is tempted to repeat the same mistake again and again. So that is his devil's arm. It's right there. You see what you gotta do to get all of these? What is this? Um, I turned on something? Ah! I see. Okay, so that's how you do that. Gotcha. Cool. I'm, gl I'm glad I... I'm very happy I checked that. And this. Pew! What's this? Ah, I see. Very cool. Okay. So now we'll be able to fully explore that place. And what is this? Uroboros. Uroboros will be released in the atmosphere. Complete global masturbation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always got to say the joke line. I always. Because it cracks me up. Complete. The, that's actually something that DC Douglas said. Because they did a whole bunch of like joke takes of that scene. 
and yes, I'm being serious. <laughs> they actually did that. They had DC Douglas, instead of it saying complete global saturation for the Ouroboros thing, they had him say complete global masturbation. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta, you gotta look it up. It's friggin' amazing, because DC Douglas is just that cool that he would actually say that in a joke take. Uh, what is this? Anything? No. Okay. So, I guess this is just a really quick way back, and also, I think it lets you access that middle area of the, um... Uh, you know, that red area we were just in. <gasps> Please tell me it landed on the light bridge, and not just fall to its doom. Oh, no! It fell to its doom! No! Oh, well. Whatever. <laughs> it was gonna fall to its doom. I don't care. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute, I couldn't get there. Eh, whatever, I don't care. Oh no, there's a chest there! Ugh. Wait a minute, I get the feeling I should care. I'm going back. Because I'm pretty sure this is how you activate the lifts. Like in the rest of the dungeon. So, now I actually do gotta go back. Damn it. Okay, fine. I shall explore. I shall explore fully. Where did the chest go? Did it really fall to its doom? Like, is it really actually gone? But yeah, I get the feeling we're going to be activating that thing right there. And it'll take me back to that area I was in. Wow, it actually did. That's crazy. I didn't expect it to just fall. Because, I mean, there's nothing else in front of it. Where was it going to go? Unless that was just a joke chest. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if they actually put a chest in the game that you can't get? Oh my god, that's like some friggin' I wanna be the guy or Kaizo Mario stuff. Wait a minute, it's here! This is it. Okay. Yeah, come up this one. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep. So now start activating these. Oh shit! Okay, good. At least you can get a back attack. Because that'd be a little unfair. Where did you guys even come from? There's nothing above me. Just jump down out of the sky. What, were you just skydiving? Is that what you guys do to pass the time in here? You just find, like, currents of air to ride up and you just skydive and just hope you don't die? <laughs> Is that what you do? Yeah. Oh, well, you friggin' rained meteors on them! What do you expect? Okay, so, turn both these buttons on, and... You can do that thing! I don't even know where in the hell that's gonna take me. Because I honestly don't remember. And I hate this dungeon. Look at this. Look at all this shit you got to do. Look at it. Look. God. <laughs> I know you. It's like, dude, I'm looking. I'm looking. I promise I'm looking. <laughs> oh, my God. It doesn't stop. It's just... Wait a minute. Oh, I get it. Now that I can go down that staircase, I'm going to find that chest somewhere. It's going to be down there. I bet you anything. Oh, and it's going to be so amazing. I'm going to look down there. I was like, oh, hi. I remember seeing it. What the hell was the point of that? There's nothing here. I can't jump. What's the point? Is that just a... Eh, whatever. Anyway. Well, that's all done. Thank God. Oh, I'm going downstairs to get to the friggin' end of this shit. Oh, I hate this place. I hate it. It's terror. It's not terrible. It's just... God... Just imagine if you had to do all this just to get through the dungeon. Oh. That would suck. This would be, seriously, this would probably be the longest final dungeon in the entirety of the series so far if you had to do all this just to get through the dungeon. But this is probably the most extensive final dungeon in the series as of yet. Alright. Uh, we got a giant one there. Okay. Okay. Yep, there it is. Oh, uh, well, no, I don't know. I just see a chest right there, and I don't know if that's actually the one that fell, you know? I want it to be, but I don't know if it is. Oh, crap. No. Oh, well. <laughs> Jeez, look at how strong she is. She's doing like a thousand damage per hit of her spells. That's insane. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, my God, you're not supposed to make the caster that OP. This isn't freaking Battle Mage Lichdom. Alright, what's this? Special Gel 3! Damn, alright, now fight the giant bear! I feel like an easy 
Oh, what the hell? He's not actually giant? Oh. That'd be cool if this was actually like the final secret giganto monster here in the the final dungeon. That'd be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. He's like, yeah. did you see his mouth? That was great. Oh man. Killed him before I could do my combo. Oh well. So there goes that, and the dungeon is now pretty much complete. We've only got one thing left to do, and that's to come right here. And we get the Meteorite Blade, and that activates that. And it activates the lifts. So yeah, that is what you gotta do to actually unlock the lifts. And now you basically have access to everything. And Meteorite Blade, where are you? Meteorite Blade. Yeah, it's slightly weaker, but it gives you more agility and magic attack. A sword made out of meteorite metals. Legend has it as Legend has it that the sword fell from the skies. Go ahead and put it on. Cause Oh, it's got lightning. Okay. Well that's not that good, but whatever. So yeah, this is still weaker than Last Fencer. So Last Fencer really is the best sword in the game for Yuri. Which is kind of ironic, but whatever. <laughs> because, you know, his signature sword is second star. You'd think they'd give you the ability to, like, power that thing up somehow. But no. So, you know what? I'm just going to stick with Last Fencer because I don't care about the Meteorite Blade. If you don't have Last Fencer, however, the Meteorite Blade is the best sword in the game for Yuri. Aside from his Devil's Arm. Like, purely stat base, um, it's the best sword. Okay. So, oh my god, I'm so glad I'm done. That's a, just a relief. So, now I got the Devil's Arms. Got all of them. Got all the Devil's Arms. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the lift. And, as you can see, you can warp to any level. So, we'll go to level 2. And now, you can just access whatever you want in the dungeon. So, here, let's try going to level 6. And where's this going to put us? This is going to put us here. So yeah. And it goes even higher. It goes to level 7. Level 7 is literally right in front of Duke. Just saying. So yeah. Um, so that's pretty much all there is for that. Um, that is the 100%ed uh, Tower of Tarkaron. It is very, very convoluted and confusing. Mostly in this area and the actual like ladder segment. But... Other than that, it's not all that bad as long as you know where to go in the first, in the techno area. So, I'm going to end it off, and next time, um, I'm going to do that other stuff that I wanted to, what the hell? Oh right, the, the Devil's Arms cutscene. Let's see it. So this makes the seventh one. Sounds about right. We finally got them all! What's the deal, guys? Isn't that exciting? It's not like there's some lost treasure or anything. Yeah, but they're ancient relics. They've got to have something cool hidden inside, right? They're not giving off any vibes that I can feel. Maybe there's some sort of key that would unlock their power. Maybe. I want to know why they were hidden in the first place. Why are they treated so differently from De Nomos? Do you think there's something bad about them? I don't know. Anyway, at least we know we've got all of them together now. Now all that's left to do is give them to Flynn and let him deal with the mess. You know, you've got a real winner of a personality. Haha, <laughs> that took you long enough to notice. There can be no doubt that entrusting the Fell Arms with him is our most reliable option. Exactly. Next stop, Arnian. What, are you kidding me? I get that it's Flynn, but you do know that there are other people that are evil in the Empire, right? What in the hell? You guys are dumbasses. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and go to Arnie and talk to him. See if he's there. See if I can actually do any... Oh. What the hell? I'm um, just flying over Zophius. You think we might be able to stop by the capital? Uh, no. The capital? Aren't there people left in the lower quarter you'd like to see? No. There's not anyone I absolutely have to go see, but okay. No, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. Screw you. I don't care. I'm not Yuri. I don't give a shit. <laughs> God, I'm so mean. <laughs> All right, Arnie in. Hey, Flynn. I got some garbage for you. You want it? <laughs> I got some freaking evil stuff. If you want it, have fun. <laughs> Flynn Shifo, status report, sir. 
There's currently no sign of monster assault. Understood. Thank you. Now go and get some rest. No, sir. I'm just fine. I will continue my watch. Taking breaks is part of the job. You can't protect people with enthusiasm alone. B but Go get some rest. Yes, sir. Commandant, we need your approval for the distribution of the foodstuffs. Very good. I'll be right there. Commandant Flynn, I'd like to speak with you about the additional building materials. Yes, I haven't forgotten. However, I'm just on my way to supervise the food distribution. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me. We can discuss it on the way. Yes, sir. I guess it won't hurt us to hold onto the fell arms for the time being. Huh? Why the change? I think Yuri's trying to say that we've all got a job to do. Flynn wouldn't be able to look after the fell arms with all this stuff going on. How kind of you. Kindness has nothing to do with it. Let's get going. Uh, I think that's the you wrong. Might have blushed there. Wow! Now I've seen everything. <laughs> and thus, through friendly teasing, the youth of today form the bonds of tomorrow. Fury, you went the wrong way, jackass. All right. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's the completion of the fell arms stuff. Or Devil's Arms. I'm not calling them the Fell Arms. It's freaking stupid. So, that's the last of the Devil's Arms. Um, I think, actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and do the 100 Man melees. Um, I'm going to do it off screen with Rita. And then I'm going to do it off screen with somebody else. And then I'll do it on screen with Yuri. So, yeah, I think that's how I'll do it. And then I'll do the 200 Man on screen with Yuri, of course. And then, yeah. So, thanks for watching. That's 100% of Tarkaron and all the Devil's Arms. So, yeah. Next time will be the 100-man melee with someone. So, see you then.